Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here on Saturday, the 14th day of November 2015. Unfortunately, events are unfolding in Europe exactly as we have predicted in countless videos and news reports at Infowars.com and on my syndicated radio broadcast. The criminal globalist crime syndicate worldwide believes that the public is completely geopolitically and culturally ignorant and will end up basically blaming President Assad of Syria for the tragic attacks in Paris yesterday that killed so far 129 people with 99 fighting for their lives and many others wounded. This is one of the largest terror attacks since 9-11. The second largest was just a week and a half ago when the Russian airliner was blown out of the air after leaving the Egyptian airport in southern Egypt. Within an hour, ISIS took responsibility and released a video of it exploding in the air. Our media still is spinning it, saying they don't know who did it. Within two minutes of the theater information being in the news, ISIS had claimed responsibility for it yet again. The mainstream media is still acting like they're not sure who did it. You know why they're doing that? Because ladies and gentlemen, they overthrew Gaddafi more than four years ago using Al-Qaeda, which is the new name of ISIS. Same group, same flags, Saudi Arabian funded. We've gone over this hundreds of times. Then they said, the jihadis, we're next going to Syria. Western funded. That's what Benghazi was about, getting rid of Stevens so they could transfer the high-tech weapons, the Stinger missiles, to the Al-Qaeda forces, the Al-Nazra forces, which means Al-Qaeda in Syria. The military said we're not going to be part of this anymore two years ago, so they flipped the name to ISIS to confuse the public. Now, France is saying they've got to take out Assad with their aircraft carrier, take out the government, take out the infrastructure, take out the railways, the roads, the, 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 the power plants, because Assad is the reason they can't get rid of ISIS. But it does appear that France was actually striking some ISIS targets. So it looks like they may be double-crossing the jihadi forces they brought in to destabilize things. So this is very confusing at this point. But we know the Russians have been decimating ISIS that had taken the middle of the country, out of Iraq up to Turkey. We know Turkey is actually also funding ISIS as well. This is all on record. We've had the former head of defense intelligence who just quit three months ago. Go public on national television, just look it up. Head of DIA says they were ordered to support Al-Qaeda and ISIS. And the reporter goes, you mean by mistake? They go, no, this was a direct order going back years ago. So the military has gone public. Congress has talked about it. We know the 28 pages on 9-11, how Saudi Arabia was deeply involved. Our government covered that up. It's the same story. Saudi Arabia, bare minimum, attacks us on 9-11. We blame Iraq had nothing to do with it. Now, the same type group attacks Paris, attacks the Russians, and our government and NATO's answer is take out Assad. That's how politically ignorant they think you are. Saudi Arabia attacks, you take out Saddam. Al-Qaeda attacks, Saudi Arabian funded, called ISIS, you take out Assad. I mean, it's ridiculous. Taking out Saddam got rid of the enemy of the Islamist, radical, Wahhabist regime in Saudi Arabia. Same thing now here. Saudi Arabia, just 50-something years ago, controlled Syria. They've invaded it before. Go back to Lawrence of Arabia. So I'm giving you some background knowledge here. Here's the bottom line. People are flooding Infowars.com saying, why aren't you saying it's a staged event? Why aren't you saying it's an inside job? Why aren't you saying it was the, the Israelis or the British or the French? Because, ladies and gentlemen, it's bigger than that. Global government is corporate run by five big banks and a handful of other pharmaceutical companies and military industrial complex companies. That's admitted at CFR.org. I mean, the elite don't deny this. They're having a conference next month in Paris to finish the plans for world government, in their own words. The Pope's calling for, quote, planetary government as well, carbon taxes. Big stuff's happening. TPP's been ratified in secret. It's all happening. Critical juncture. The head of the CIA's meeting on Friday the 13th, yesterday, in Paris with the head of French intelligence right when this happens. So who knows what's going on? But what I know I can prove is it's not a pure false flag where really French intelligence did this, in my view, because they weren't really ready for it when it happened. They knew it was coming, but they weren't ready with their talking points and their agenda yet. 
When you see them ready within minutes with talking points, with OKC or the Kennedy assassination or 9-11, you know there's major staging. You see the scripting of a rollout. With this, though, if drills come out or other things, then we know they were at least protecting the terrorists who might have not even known they were being protected. See, this is compartmentalized. They don't really run the radical jihadists. They just protect them and open the door. Again, we don't know that happened. But it's too soon to say it's a pure false flag. But I can say that the Paris theater attack overall is a staged event because who opened the borders? The head of the UN Council on Migration, who was the former head of the EU, Peter Sutherland, lowers Europe's borders, advertises Muslims can come in free and get everything paid for. Then the West destabilizes things using Al-Qaeda and Al-Nusra and ISIS forces, opens up the Turkish border to flood out of the east from as far away as Pakistan and Afghanistan into Iraq, up through that corridor into Turkey and into Syria to then go into Europe. And then they lower the borders, advertise everything's free, Turkey lets them in, floods them through, they order Poland, Hungary, and everybody else to let them through, and then bring them in and then cover up all the weapons caches being found. Cover up the fact that 80%, and this is in the news, of the young jihadis are military age men. These are not real refugees. That they've got fake passports, almost all of them, 70 something percent. Of course we could predict they were gonna attack theaters and shopping malls and, and, and train stations. Watch, it's all gonna get hit. I've said this hundreds of times, neurotically, because it's a shake and bake program. They're gonna start shooting down jet airliners with missiles. It's all gonna happen. And most of the time, they're going to cover it up and just say, we don't know what did it. And then they're going to say, the EU has to have more power and more money to fund the refugees. And we've got to have more rights to spy on you. And Germany and France just banned any public assemblies who are protesting the illegals, the invaders. So the New World Order globalists that sit above the nation states want to balkanize them and break them down. And they make money and get power out of crisis. They are funding a radical Muslim invasion. And when Le Pen, major government you know, minister in their parliament, the daughter of you know, one of those famous guys in France, she goes public and says, we're being invaded, just like we were invaded by the Nazis in 1940. They have arrested her, indicted her, and she's facing years in prison. This is a major, like one of the top presidential frontrunners, probably the top presidential frontrunner getting ready to run for president in the polls. They arrested her for her free speech. I mean, you think about how far this has gone, folks. This is a fact. And now Obama's announced massive refugees coming here. So lower the borders, advertise everything's free, then destabilize the countries, flood in the groups, ban demonstrating. Rob Lowe, who I just met one time, he's like a really nice guy when I was out in Hollywood, came out and just said, oh, now the French president closes the borders after they're attacked, pointing out Europe's being flooded. And there's all this faux outrage. How dare you? You're in big trouble. We're coming after you, racist. This is, this is the insane political correctness. Let's go over and see some of the articles and back this up for you, okay? Now, here's a little conspiracy tidbit. I don't normally go with cryptic stuff. I'm not really the conspiracy theorist, you know, that gets into things you can't prove. But, but here's the deal. No one's pointed out that this was Friday the 13th yesterday. No one's pointed out this was Friday the 13th. And I'm not a superstitious person. I don't believe in just magic stuff happening, except elites believe in it. So if you, call, if you follow their criminology or their pathology, their MO, their modus operandi, then it matters. But it's not just Friday the 13th. Do you know where Friday the 13th comes from? Type in origin of Friday the 13th. You'll get Wikipedia, you'll get Webster, you'll get Encyclopedia Britannica. I've, I've been an expert on like Discovery Channel shows about this, so I've done my research. But this is a well-known fact. Friday the 13th is when the Pope and the French king purged the top crusaders and stole all their wealth. And then the top crusaders that did escape ran to Scotland and then England and moved the headquarters out of Italy and out of France to England. And that's the beginning of England becoming the dominant world empire. That's mainline history. So whoever ran this attack, probably real wound-up jihadis, but being allowed to come in, we know they're allowed to come in, funded and everything, attack a theater by the Eiffel Tower on Friday the 13th in the same city where the Knights Templars were rounded up and killed on Friday the 13th. Look, Knights Templar, and it's their whole history, and you do a Command F, and you do the 13th, 
and you can find out why it happened and what they did and found out that they were rounded up by the Pope and the King on Friday the 13th. There it is right there. Friday the 13th. October, Friday the 13th, 1307, King Philip IV ordered Mole and scores the French Templars to be simultaneously arrested and they were killed. And there they are being burned. There are the Templars being burned at the stake. So, how many? 700 years later? 700 years later, this happens. I mean, it, it's not just Friday the 13th. I, I was thinking, should I mention it was Friday the 13th? Nah, I'm not going to do that. I went, wait, the origin of Friday the 13th is the Templars in that city. Okay, was this a sick joke by ISIS or a sick joke by the intelligence agencies funding and running these people? See, when you really get into understanding this stuff, it's very sophisticated. And that's why InfoWars is the top analysis site in the world, because we do our homework. I'm not bragging, folks. We predicted every bit of this to a T. Now you're going to listen to what the next phase is going to be. Let's go to the articles. The document we talked about earlier. Paris attacks. Death toll stands at 129 with 99 fighting for their lives. Just backing up what I showed you earlier. We broke first uh, out of uh, ministers in Greece tweets, Drudge will link to it, uh, that they're confirming that the main terror leader was a uh, immigrant uh, coming out of uh, Syria through Greece. And as you see, ISIS is laying responsibility. They still act like they're not sure that's true. Breaking Paris terrorist was a Syrian refugee, says Greek government official. And then it goes through all of that. That's the Express. Remember this back in February? What was that, six, seven months ago? ISIS threatens to send 50,000 migrants to Europe as a psychological weapon in chilling echo of Gaddafi's prophecy that Mediterranean will become a sea of chaos for them using Al-Qaeda on him. Well, yeah, he knew that that was their plan. And now they're destabilizing all of Africa, too. This is the globalist plan, Operation Chaos. So see, but then they always act like, oh, that's a conspiracy. There's any terrorists and the refugees when they said they'd do it. Okay, boom, more research. What are you going to do when the research comes for you? Report, Paris attacker with Syrian refugee, Infowars.com, who arrived in Greece last month. There we are on it, breaking it off of the Greek news. Just pointing out Infowars is leading the news. Our reporters are all, by the way, about to get there in the next few hours. Just to point that out. Uh, Syrian refugee crisis, U.S. open centers to speed vetting. This is just announced that they're going to bring in hundreds of thousands, and then, of course, it'll be millions, just like Europe. Climate webcast from Paris suspended after deadly attacks. He was just a half mile away when it happened, promoting world government and paying him carbon taxes. That big meeting to finally establish open world government happens next month in Paris. And by the way, they were going to close the borders just for that event, but not for the people of France. This is the destruction of your country, people. Break with political correctness. Break with the tyranny of arresting Le Pen. Even if you disagree with her, my God, you're, you are under Nazi occupation, but it's globalist occupation. Look into Bilderberg. Continuing. Poland's new government rejects migrant quotas after Paris attacks. And then it goes on to talk about how to destroy their sovereignty. And here's Rob Lowe. You read his quote, all he said was, oh, now France closes its borders and tweets at the president. They didn't try to bully him because they can't arrest him for pointing out that everybody wanted their borders controlled. Folks, they won't even let journalists hardly in. We'll see if our guys even are able to get in. <laughs> they won't even let Michael Savage into England, but they'll let people with known terrorist backgrounds in. I mean, th because they're using these people, folks. It is so sick. This is really a master plan. Okay, well, that's it for that report. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm shooting this from home. I'm going to probably come into the office tonight for special reports and more. Uh, also, uh, we've got, again, reporters, regardless, we're